Hey, what is up guys? This is John from Magic Tech Review and in today's video we're going to talk about ZTE and Huawei being pulled off of US military base store shelves and let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm pulling this off of the register. It says uh, biting the hand that feeds it. I don't know this website. This is the particular one that I looked at, the register.co.uk. So go ahead and check them out if you have not. Anyways, go ahead and leave a like on the video. If you enjoy the content, go ahead and subscribe to become part of the Magic Tech Review family. And comment down below what you guys think about this video or any other video that you want me to see in the future. And also what you think about these uh, phone manufacturers being pulled off of store shelves. So it says, hang on, we're selling what in our stores to our people? American uh, Department of Defense have banned all Huawei and ZT devices from sale in all defense exchanges. The shops offered to military personnel and veterans. So this is kind of big uh, because like the NEX, uh, the PX, there's a whole bunch of stores I remember. And there's a lot of phones that are sold there actually. Now I'm not sure exactly how many devices were being sold there as of lately, but that means definitely if crickets being sold there then the huawei is out definitely if any boost mobiles being sold there that's all zte phones that are there so and it says the ban was confirmed by dod spokesperson david eastburn who told stars and stripes defense department's undersecretary for personnel and readiness issued a ban covering the two companies phones mobile broadband modems and related products from locations worldwide Eastbourne was quoted as saying, It was not prudent for the department's exchange services to continue selling these products to our personnel because of U.S. intelligence concerns to their security. So, yeah. Eastbourne said the Pentagon also considered an outright ban on personnel owning Huawei or ZT devices, even those purchased independently of the Defense Exchange Network. So, wow. They're considering, like, personnel can't even buy Huawei or ZT in the military force pretty big force guys if you guys don't know so that's pretty crazy the now blacklisted gadgets were carried by defense exchange outlet at a Ramstar, uh, Ramstein air base in Germany and discovered by Star and Stripes in mid-April commerce banned US companies from supplying kits to ZTE we already know about that seven-year ban so yeah guys this is very this is very bad news for ZTE and Huawei so if you're a fan of these two companies Man. Uh, and it says that net was spread wider last week with the Wall Street Journal reporting a Justice Department investigation to whether Huawei had also breached Iran sanctions. So Iran might be getting it too. Uh, the South China Morning posted later claimed Huawei was ready, getting ready to drop Android in favor of its own operating system should the U.S. ban materialize wow so the company has already all but given up on its u.s aspirations and, and this is all stemming from in february the directors of the nsa cia fbi national intelligence agency defense intelligence agency and the national uh, geospatial intelligence agency testified to the u.s senate that they worried about huawei and zt being part of china's intelligence gathering apparatus so there you have it guys so yeah zt and huawei while wow, being banned out of us nex stores and all types of military exchanges is just oh man it's just silly crazy you let me know in the comments below i'm not even gonna even give my thoughts because it's just it's just it's just i'm not gonna even give my thoughts comment down below let me know what you think about this Please just, just go ahead, just start typing now. And as always, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you later. Peace out.